Greetings fellow Earthicans. To all my VFC users, I have a special video for you today. This is a quick modification, not so much quick, but simple modification that you could do to your VFC that will instantly boost your performance. So if you have a VFC, you already know about their infamous auto shimming gears. If you don't have a VFC, then you probably still know about their gears, just, you know, if you've been playing for a while, probably heard about them or read about them online or stuff like that. Anyway, basically what these auto shimming gears are, are just gears with little springs on them. And what that does is when they're on, um, can't do it with that one. When they're on the gear, it p pushes up against the top shell, the top half of the gearbox. So it's basically always pushing down. A lot of people don't like this. Um, if you ask anybody what are the cons about a VFC, they'll uh, right away they'll tell you that their gears are terrible and you need to replace them. Don't do that. Their gears are really, really good. All you have to do is remove these little springs because it actually creates a lot of, um, not so much stress, but resistance in your gearbox. Uh, if you want a good example, go to my channel, or I'll put the links on the screen. Um, this is the gearbox from my, obviously my VFC M4, which I have a couple of rate of fire tests on my channel. Uh, and again, I'm going to link those on the screen because the first one that I have, which I did you know a few months back, I had the springs on the VFC gears. The second video is um, you know the same setup, but I didn't have the springs on the gears. And I don't know if you'll notice, but I noticed that there was quite a bit of a rate of fire increase. Maybe, maybe a few, but it was better. Anyway, so here's what you have to do. This again, this is very simple, but a lot of people don't realize that you can do this. So these are my VFC gears in here right now. Um, let's see if this will work. They obviously don't have any springs on them. Only the sector and the spur gears have these springs. The bevel gear is already shimmed perfectly. You know, if you're using a VFC motor, I am. But these gears over here, these are JG gears, so I'm going to use these as examples. Sector gear, again, the little spring I had on before. Uh, doesn't want to cooperate right now. So this is what it looks like, kind of. So what you have to do to make these regular shimming gears is just remove the spring, that's step number one. But if you just put shims on top of this now, it's not gonna work. Because if you notice, gears need this um, little shaft thing. It's basically like a little clip where the shims rest on. And that's what helps keep them level. Um, the uh, VFC sector gear, let me get these out of here real quick, it has this thing on here. And this basically goes over top of the spring, the thicker spring on the left, that's what goes on the sector gear, I mean the spur gear, and then this goes on top. So it's basically like its own little plastic shim or whatever this is. So this spur gear is a little easier to do because all you have to do is just, you know, remove this spring and then put that on. And there you go, and then just shim accordingly. The sector gear though, it doesn't have anything like that. So this is what the VFC gear will look like. There's nothing. Um, so this is when you have to be a little creative. If you have another set of gears that you're not using, grab those because that's you know what you'll need and basically regular gears will have that little shaft on like on the axle now this again is a JG gear and I took that little uh, metal piece off I cut it and then I put it on the sector gear that silver part there yeah that was from the other gear that I was just holding up so you can use anything I mean I guess you could 
be creative and use a pen tube, something like that. But you just have to put something on there that will allow you to put shims on top so that they can sit evenly and, you know, it'll work fine. And it, again, it's very simple to do the sec, the, I mean, the bevel gear, you don't have to do anything because you're not really messing up the shimming. All you're doing is changing out the springs. VFC already has shims on their gears, just on the bottoms. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. Those are the stock VFC shims. And the gears are already shimmed very well. So all you have to do is just, just do, remove these springs. And uh, incidentally, you'll have a little better performance. You probably won't notice it if you're using a, you know, a simple setup. When I say out of the box setup, I usually mean just like a 9.6 volt battery, no modifications, something like that. But I use an ASCU, ASCU MOSFET, and then I have 11.1 volt batteries. So mine's going a little bit faster than other people's guns. And that's why I noticed an increase in performance because when things are moving quicker, small changes are gonna have big differences. So hopefully I explained this pretty simply. And I kind of threw a bunch of words in there that didn't make any sense. But you just have to take the springs off and just add the little shafts to them. And you can always keep the springs because, I mean, if you have another sector gear and you did what I did and took that metal piece off the shaft, well now if you want to use this gear, you can't unless you, you know, find something else to put around that shaft. That sounds too weird. But you can always use the spring. Um, so that's that. That's just a very simple modification that a lot of people don't realize that they can do. Uh, it saves you from having to buy a new gear set which is very unnecessary. These gears are pretty well made. So that's that. Thanks for watching. And you know, if you happen to do this modification yourself, just leave in the comments below. Let me know how it went for you, if like what kind of performance increases you had. And uh, thanks for watching.